Today we're going to be tying the elk hair caddis from Hairline. Once you get your hook in the vise, go ahead and tie your thread on. Bring your thread all the way back. You want your thread to hang oh, just past the point of the hook, almost to the bend. You can cut your tag end off here. Once you get that done, we're going to bring our wire in. We're going to add that to the top of the hook. Once that's in place, get your feather that's been prepared. The barbules are pinched off the end, so you have a little um, the middle section of the feather ready to be tied on. Right there. We want to tie that back just pat, almost to the bend. And now we're going to add our dubbing. Now you can create any size dubbing noodle you want, but we're going to create a uniform body. And if you don't have enough or you have too much, you can add more or you can take off, take it off at the end. Uh, when you get towards the eye of the hook, we're going to try to create a uniform body here that's not, shouldn't be bigger on one end, should be pretty uniform throughout the whole length of the hook. Should you get it where you want it, or about an eye length back. All right, pause here and talk about the question you decided on. Remember to be attentive as you listen and honest as you answer. Take your time and then continue when you're finished. You're going to then, you're going to wrap your feather around. Now these are open spirals. They're not close, but you want them close enough where it creates a nice puffy looking fly. Once you get to the front, then you're going to switch places with the thread and the feather. And you're going to wrap the feather down. If you don't know how to do that, go ahead and look at my how-to video. Come in and you notice that when I clip the feather, I use my hand to guard the thread. So I don't want that thread to be cut. So I'm very careful with that. Now we're going to wrap our wire the same way as we have wrapped the hackle. Uh, we're not counter wrapping. Again, we trade places with the wire and the thread and wrap it down. Now we're going to helicopter the wire off. And we're going to add in our elk hair. But the body length is about what we're looking for. We, so we transfer it to our material hand. We're going to wrap it three or four times, and then we're going to pull straight up on it. Now you're going to pinch this with your material hand hard while you're doing this to keep it in place. So once you get it wrapped, you're going to come in with your scissors, and you're going to cut off, secure it down, sorry. Once you get this where you want it, you're going to come in with your scissors, and you're going to cut it off just above the eye at an angle, kind of making a little head on it right there. We're going to wrap it a few more times, and we're going to come in with our whip finish tool or our half hitch tool, whichever one you're comfortable with, and we're going to tie it off. Once we tie that off, then you're going to clean it up with your scissors. You're going to cut this off and clean it up, and then you're going to add some head cement, which I'm not doing here, but you add your head cement, and there we have an elk hair caddis. Thanks for watching.